Hello YouTube, Statue Hunter 75 here with Statue Hunters Bags and Boards. It's uh, New Comic Book Wednesday, June 12th. And this is issue number 75, or episode number 75. I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying these episodes. Um, let me know if you haven't. You know, I, I get the occasional thumbs down, but I get those on all my videos. It's usually the same old uh, trolls. But if you guys are not liking these videos, or if there's anything you want me to change about these comic videos, let me know. I still have statue videos coming. still have, like, Hot Toys video reviews coming as well. Um, just waiting for stuff to get there in the mail. So these, I believe, are good filler. It's comic book characters that, that inspire most of these statues. And we all love comics, well, most of us do. So, um, yeah, hope you guys are liking these still. All right. Um, so moving right on, we got the... Uh, I, I stopped into Harrison's Comics in Salem. And the first batch of books for the day that I got was ride number one. Uh, it's from Image Comics. It's a hot, sexy Adam Hughes cover on, on, the, on the main cover here. Um, and I was all over this. I've been waiting for this to come up for a while because I love this artwork. I love Adam Hughes as an artist. Very sexy stuff with the blood splatter all over her and stuff. Uh, kind of weird. <laughs> a weird unicorn type pajama costume that she's wearing. <laughs> anyway, um, what this is about is it's basically an ex-cop turned convict is released from prison after a 15-year sentence uh, and now works as a bouncer in an exotic nightclub. <laughs> right up my alley. Um, so, And uh, Adam, he was on the cover. So I picked up a few uh, copies of this just in case it takes off. It's issue number one. Um, moving on to Donny Cates' new uh, piece of work in the Marvel Universe here. This is Silver Surfer Black. And um, very uh, excited. Hope this takes off. Hope this does good, uh, as good as his venom and everything else that he's touching right now. Um, but basically, it's a limited series that follows the Silver Surfer after he is sucked into a black hole. So we'll see how it does. Some really cool variants this week, but some of them were kind of like rather expensive, and I don't know. <clears throat> I might pick up one that I have on hold. We'll see. Uh, I did get this variant. Um, this is the Silver Surfer Black. I don't know which variant, A, B, or C, or D, or whatever, but um, that is the artist, if you can make it out. So, I mean, there were, there were quite a few variants. Um, let me see if it shows who did this variant. The variant I really want to get is the one in 25, Ger Gerald Parrell. Um, there was also a secret variant, um, and then there was a 1 in 50 from Nick Bradshaw, but the secret variant was, I think, 1 in 100, and that was by Mike Zek. That was the hidden gem variant. That's really cool. Uh, let me see if I can score some of that artwork and show you what it looks like. This was that uh, hidden gem variant. Really cool. Um, and the other variant that I want to pick up, I actually have hold, on hold at a store, the 1 in 25. Uh, that's it right there. I really like the reflection of the Fantastic Four in his, in his surfboard. In his cosmic surfboard there. But anyway, back to where we left off. Next book, another big book, um, another big series, hot popular book. Right now is Immortal Hulk number 19. And this was the variant cover art from Emanuela Lupacino. And it's the armor suit edition, and it just looks really, really cool. Kind of the bullets bouncing off the armor suit of Spider-Man there, so like it a lot. Uh, jumping around here, uh, also picked up the Catwoman number 12 uh, variant here. It's a cover art by, of course, Stanley Archer and Lau, who was one of my favorite artists. Um, the cover is basically a callback to Batman number 42 from 1957. And I really think it looks cool how you have, like, the cartoon Batman uh, turning the page, kind of. And, of course, the always stunning artwork of uh, that guy right there, Stanley Archer and Lau. <clears throat> Moving on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy, camera. 
Moving on to Major X number five. Um, this did actually have a first appearance of a character named Aurora. Or Aura? A U R A. Could be Aurora. Or Aurora. <laughs> I think it's Aura. It's A U R A. But anyway, I picked up a few co covers of it. It was funny how I forget who it was. Maybe it was Jim from Jim's Comics. Uh, or Jim Comics making fun of how Liefeld just draws like the stick gun. Yeah, Liefeld, good old Rob Liefeld's art. Anyway, <laughs> excuse me. As I try to stay up here, it is pretty late. While well, I'm filming this, I got to film this kind of late. But I also picked up the mall number four. Um, there was a variant cover with the cover homage to the Lost Boys, but I couldn't find it. Nobody had it, so I didn't get it. Another hot book this week is Symbiote Spider-Man number three. Cool cover there with Catwoman and Mysterio and, uh, of course, the uh, black symbiote suit for Spider-Man. Basically, um... In this in this issue, Peter and this is the variant one of the variant covers. Uh, Peter David explores untold stories set during the time when Peter Parker wore the black costume without knowledge that he was host to the symbiote. Um, there's also in this the big thing is there's a one page tie in to the Absolute Carnage series. So I didn't have a chance to read it yet, but that's supposed to be in there. Uh, let's see here we have. Oh, these are from last week. This was the variant cover, Justice League 25. There were hot books from last week, and John had set aside a couple for me. A couple cover A's and a cover B uh, from last week, because I wasn't able to make it there last week, so. V-Wars, God of Death. I think this is a one-shot. Yes, it is, considering that it says one-shot right there. So, uh, I don't know if there's any, like, really key stuff to this. I think it's just... There's a show coming out, and it was one shot, so I picked it up. So there you have it. <clears throat> Batman Who Laughs, number six. Now, there is something to this, I believe. If all the speculations are true. Um, it's the second to last one in the series. And I'm pretty sure there was something to do with this. Maybe I'm wrong. I built that up pretty good, but maybe I built that up all for nothing. I guess I did. I don't know. Some of Jim Comics said definitely pick it up. So I picked up the A and the B variant cover, which is also really cool. Because I thought there was supposed to be some kind of full reveal of a character or something like that. Well, we'll see how it turns out. Merca and Dol Andolfo's Unnatural, issue 10. Kind of just been liking this. It was trippy, different, so I picked it up. This one I picked up just because it was the number one issue. It's from Aftershock Comics, and it's called Trustfall. It could possibly totally suck, or it could be really hot and really good. So I made sure I picked up one copy, at least, because it was a number one issue. And the variant cover of the ride... I just wanted to pick up the variant cover too because that looks pretty cool too. I do believe that's a female. Uh, we're really short here. Dude, looks like a lady. Anyway, uh, Batman and the Outsiders number two. I think Jim from Jim Comics persuaded me to buy this in his video too. So I'm not sure if they've talked about what is going on with that. Let me see. I don't know if anyone mentioned it. Um, if not, still cool book because Jim Comics said to get it I got it I'm trying to see if there's anything I don't think there's any speculation on it as well in there hmm. and I know nothing about this book but it's a number, another number one issue Banja X so I picked that up I've just been going along with this series it's magazine size which is kind of aggravating and I do love the variants. I haven't gotten a single 1 in 10 variant for this damn thing. And they all, all the 1 in 10 variants sell for like $50 because everyone's a bunch of rapists at these comic stores. And But the variant art on these variants for this book just look phenomenal. Uh, this was the variant cover to this one this week. 
It's always a super kind of sexy girl on there. Or a version of Amber Blake, like artist rendition of her. But that was it, so. Moving right along. So that's everything from Harry Sullen's comics. Um, moving on to stuff that I picked up over at... Uh, over at Paper Asylum. One of my favorite all-time comic shops. Over at Cabot Street in Beverly. Let me move this camera around a little so I can reach these books for you. I got a big book there. Got a big book. Anthony presented me with a deal I couldn't refuse. Offer I couldn't refuse, I guess. So I picked up a big book. Um, I'm not saying how much I paid because that's nobody's business, but got a big book. Anyway, he threw a lot of extra stuff in there with it because he always takes care of me, so. Uh, picked up the issue of Superman 12. Um, it's Adam Hughes. So I picked up. Kind of cool having an Adam Hughes cover of Superman, which I never had. Um... It was the only store, was Anthony's store. Paper Asylum, Pete and Anthony's. Uh, only place to get New Agents of Atlas, number one, second printing with a cool Inyok Lee cover. Um, just really cool cover. So I picked it up, hopefully it's a super low print run and this thing goes through the roof. Another uh, cool cover that only Anthony had this week. Nobody else had this. This is the Wonder Woman 72 variant with the Jenny Frisson. Uh, variant. I love how I'm being all extra French with my pronunciations, even though I'm nowhere near French, but it's kind of funny. Um, <clears throat> ride number one. Just picked up another copy of it, that's all, because it looks so sexy. And really cool Spider-Man in the 90s, growing up in the 90s, Life Story Spider-Man. Uh, this was the 125 variant, which is just really cool. Very trippy. If you're a Spider-Man fan, this is the book to get because it's just kind of got a lot of cool stuff. And that looks like a McFarlane Spider-Man very much. So, on to a really hot item and the second to last uh, best book I got from Paper Solemn. This is Red Sonya, Birth of a She-Devil number one. Except it's not just any old ordinary Red Sonya, Birth of a She-Devil number one. This is the super cool Paper Asylum variant, uh, store variant, and it's drawn by Kunka, I believe his name is, and I believe I did say that right, but I hope I'm not destroying the name, but it's just a really, really, really sexy, beautiful cover, such a hot piece of art, sweet ass, and then like severed head dripping blood there just really gory really bloody and really sexy everything you want in a comic book i guess awesome anyway so that's it from paper sound go talk to anthony if you want to get yourself a hold of one of these um might put one up on ebay check it out that's around to 75 on ebay i might put one up soon we'll see all right uh and then the big ticket item i finally got a copy of the first appearance of Johnny Blaze. It's Marvel Spotlight on the Ghost Rider number five. Uh, I've been trying to get this. It's not like pristine condition. It's a little worn, but it's still a really cool book to have. And I'm gonna get it slapped for sure because I love the Ghost Rider. So really happy to finally get his first appearance. And uh, that's that from Paper Asylum. Oh, wait, one other thing I got from Anthony was the Stanley Art Germ Lao Giant Ass Poster Book. It's a poster portfolio, it says. It was 25 bucks retail. And, uh, it's 20 removable posters. I'll show you them all. All based on former covers, I think, and stuff, and different types of art. Like, that's the Stanley Archer and Lau for the Sideshow statue. That was one of his books. That was one of his books. That was one of his books. The Power Girl was one of his books. No, actually, no, that's the Sideshow statue art. Um, that was one of his books. I love that Bat, Bat Girl. I got that book. 
really sexy Wonder Woman. Really cool. That's the Sideshow Statue of Poison Ivy. Green with Envy. Really cool Catwoman cover that he did. <clears throat> Black Canary cover that he did. Or it was for the Sideshow Statue, maybe. Uh, I think so. Supergirl. Batman and Wonder Woman. Huntress. Mara. Catwoman again. Holly Quinn again, Wonder Woman again, Supergirl again. He, he loves doing those four right there. Anyway, uh, so that's that. Really cool. Happy to have in the collection. And moving on to what I got from the last stop. And then I'll get to the super cool mail call. But last stuff. The stuff that I got was from uh, Eric... Over at uh, um, Counterplay Comics. Picked up this stuff. Let's get to it. Alright. So, when I went to Counterplay Comics, let me back it up a little. Bring it back into focus here. I picked up the True Believers of Amazing Spider Man. Picked up this. Both covers of the Transformers number seven. This was the cover B and the cover A. And the really cool thing is they came with this trading card game booster pack, and it's pretty thick. And it says one foil Transformers character card plus seven battle cards in each pack. I mean, I'm not into this game stuff, but it's pretty cool. I saw that had Bumblebee. My daughter would love that. Anyway, so grabbed a couple of those bad boys and this cover, which had to have Optimus Prime on it. Looks really cool. <clears throat> and then I picked up the base regular cover A of Venom 15 and picked up the variant regular cover of Venom 15 and I picked up the X-Force number 9 this is the reappearance of Rachel Summers as the Phoenix and went on to pick up the Immortal Hulk number 19 I think this is this they haven't really speculated on this but I do believe that this is the first full appearance of the Red Hawk Harpy she's all throughout the book so I think that's what this is and I'm sticking to it Mortal Hawk and really cool Alex Ross art too of the abomination there and moving right along. There was no real key to that Immortal Hulk, just other than that it's a new issue. And then we also have this Sonata. Um, come on, don't make me go looking here. I can always find these. No, of course I can't. Go figure. Anyway, let's see. Sonata. Picked up Sonata number one. I don't know if there was any real speculation on this other than the fact that it's a number one issue. And it had an A and B cover, so I picked up the A and B cover, I guess, is of what they are. And yeah, it's um, Sonata number one. The two races clash over a world they each believe to be their promised land while a young woman seeks to wake the gods of legend that are believed to inhabit the planet. Uh, it's different, really cool. And there's that regular cover of that Red Sonya to become a she devil, birth of a she devil number one. That's a little sexy one of the regular covers by Perulo. Really like that. Picked up another copy of Ride, surprise, surprise. Picked up the 25th anniversary variant of the Mortal Hulk. And I picked up another A copy, picked up another Spider Man variant. 
and picked up Mega Ghost. I think this is number five. Picked up that. Picked up Catwoman. Just really cool art on the cover. That's pretty much it. The only reason I got it. And then I picked up this Inyuk Lee. A Lee Inyuk. Champions number six. Number. This is another, another uh, Batgirl Catwoman, whatever you call it. Then I picked up Gargantuan number one and Gargantuan number zero. Wow. I am uh, totally zoning out in the middle of the video. That's embarrassing. <laughs> um, Event Leviathan, number one, picked up the variant and the regular cover. I think that's going to tie into uh, Naomi. We'll see. Um, it's a DC crossover event. It's first team appearance of a new Leviathan organization. Picked up another Major X. Picked up another Bond X1. Picked up Sp Spider-Man in the 90s, Life Story number four of the 90s, which is the regular cover. And then the big the big ticket items that I got from Eric was the Symbiote Spider-Man number three, Blood Splatter, Secret Variant. And then I picked in, it's cool, it's great uh, land art. And I also picked up a copy of the Venom 15 Blood Splatter Variant. And both books have tie-ins to the cross carnage, absolute carnage. So hopefully those just keep skyrocketing because of that blood splatter. Anyway, that's everything. Finally, um, I can end this video for you poor people while I'm like practically falling asleep while I'm recording it. I've just been up late a lot, doing a lot of work on my house and our houses. Anyway, have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up. Uh, if you liked all the content and, uh, you know, subscribe if you want to join us for the ride. Oh, wait a minute. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. Um, end the video with a bang here. Big, big stuff at the end. Big stuff at the end. All right. We got, we got a couple of uh, mail calls here. Mail call. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Even though I think I know what this stuff is. Let's see what we got. Slice. Slice. All right, I'm taking it off camera for a second. Usually they put the stupid things in. And the okay, it was packaged pretty good. Packaged it pretty good. I asked them, please be careful how you send this because my mailman loves to slam things around. stuff. I like how they use the painter's tape instead of regular scotch tape because this painter's tape does do less damage to stuff when you peel it off. And it's also easier to grab and peel off. If only I had better fingernails. So you guys want to be suffering waiting for me to peel it off. All right. So I got some really cool variants. If you are very sexy variants, if you are a Street Fighter fan, you will love these. Especially if you're a Chun-Li and Lara fan. So these were super exclusive uh, store variant. 
and shame on me for not remembering. Kirby's Comics and Collectibles. That was it. Yeah, great guy over there at Kirby's Comics and Collectibles. So. Wait, did they, did they change the, the look of these things? Let me, uh, bear with me. I'm just going to the uh, eBay where I bought it from. This video is running long, but who gives a shit? <laughs> All right. Um, purchases. Come on. Come on, come on, let's see the damn picture of the stuff. All right, yeah, so there was the Virgin. There was the sexy bikini. And then, no, nope, these are all the covers, okay. They're all the normal covers. All right, let's show you these in order. All right, guys, you ready for the sexiness? All right, Street Fighter sexiness right here. So first, we have the huge voluptuous Chun-Li and Lara. Chun Li being from China, I want to say, and Lara being from Brazil. Leon's number five. Big booties and big boobies, I guess. <laughs> this is the Street Fighter 2019 pinup special, Kirby's Comics and Collectibles. So, really hot stuff, really cool. That was that cover. And then you have, that was, so that was the trade dress with like a little covered up more. Um, and then we have the trade dress exposed bikini variant where you see mostly everything. And then wrap it off, round it off, and they're all in pretty good condition so far that I can see. I'll pick these apart later. Um, and then we have the variant. I mean the uh, virgin, the virgin variant, so. Oh, the corner, you know what, the corner's a little dinged up. Oh, I might have to bring that to Kirby's attention because that's not cool. And of course, it's always on the Virgin variant. Maybe I'll have him send me out another one. I'll send him back this one. Because the other ones didn't really have dinged up corners, I don't think. Well, they're nowhere near as bad. Of course, it's always the Virgin one. Son of a bitch. Anyway, I'll reach out to him and see what he says. Oh, guys. Uh, oh, wait. One more mail call here. <laughs> All right, last mail call. Let's see what this is. I think I know what this is, too. both these people please send it you know in sturdy packaging because my mail the man loves to jam stuff and this is from calm exposure but you know what you think they'd be smarter and actually seal the uh they shipped it out with open eh, whatever and they didn't even tape them down i'm surprised but <laughs> oddly enough Looks like there wasn't really any damage. I'll review these thoroughly after two. But this is the J. Scott Campbell Calm Exposure Milk Bath. <laughs> Sexy variant of uh, Black Cat number one. And then a really hot Greg Horn Black Cat number one with the, uh, you know, the Virgin variant with the plush uh, Peter Parker spider ham. So... Really cool, right there. All right, let's get the glare of the light out of here. Sexiness all around. 
All right, guys, now it's officially done. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good evening.